Hi guys, it's Fran here. So in this video I'm going to give you a quick update and also an overview of my 2012 uh, contest season. Uh, in particular talking about uh, my last contest, the uh, Italian finals, the NBFI Italian finals held on the 13th of October in uh, Filine Valdano uh, near Florence. Uh, so uh, Filine uh, was supposed to be my penultimate uh, contest. Um, I was also invited to the NPA British finals, but uh, unfortunately my father passed away, uh, you know, on the twenty third, and I have to uh, basically stop my uh, contest season earlier, uh, because of course I had other uh, priorities and other uh, thoughts. Um, you know, my weight now is uh, about eighty five, eighty six kilos, so I'm about uh, ten kilos heavier uh, than on uh, the weight in on uh, my last contest. Uh, my weight was seventy five point six kilos. Uh, and of course, I mean, that is not just muscle, it's actually the majority of that is fat because uh, it's been just five weeks since my, my contest. But I'm pretty happy with, uh, you know, the feelings, you know, the energy that I got, the strength uh, uh, increased and uh, also uh, mood. I don't have any mood swings anymore. Uh, and this is not due to, uh, you know, because I'm heavier. Uh, many th people think that the heavier, heavier you are, the stronger that's you know completely bullshit really it's just a legend uh, I think it's mainly due to the uh, hormonal balance of course when you prolong a diet for a long uh, very long long period like in my case uh, over one year uh, like uh, you know in this season where I uh, you know basically started back in November last year and finished just now uh, you get a lot of uh, hormone imbalances uh, that uh, you actually get back on track when you start eating again like a normal person or having like a maintenance diet. So talking about the, the competition, uh, yeah, it was always like a great occasion to meet with old friends and also a lot of people that, uh, you know, I've been in contact with here uh, over the internet, so through my uh, YouTube channel and my Facebook page. So thank you, thank you again, guys, for uh, your support and for coming uh, you know, uh, to to Filine to to support me uh, during the contest. I really appreciate that. And uh, you know, in terms of results, the result was pretty much similar to uh, you know previous edition I participated. Uh, somehow, you know, this uh, competition and the NBFI is a milestone for my preparation and my natural bodybuilding journey because uh, you know Filine uh, or this uh, federation is where I started my uh, competition career and um, yeah so basically I got fourth again uh, like uh, last year and the previous year where everything every, every, everything started so yeah was, uh, you know not very happy about that but uh, rather than being polemic and uh, you know talk about criteria of the judges I mean many people saw me actually uh, a bit higher in the ranking but rather than talking about that I just want to think about what were my mistakes and definitely I've done many of them two major ones are uh, linked to my obsession for uh, you know muscular definition that was actually my objective uh, of this season the idea of doing many contests here as I you know uh, you know share with you before in other videos was uh, trying to achieve uh, the same level of muscular quality as for my upper body because in previous edition or previous competition everybody or all the judges as well told me that I have a good uh, quality in my upper body but my legs were a bit behind the rest of my body uh, mainly in terms of uh, you know definition because I never had problems with volumes so what I've done, what I've done is you know this year was uh, just going through a lot of uh, contests or gradually to drop down my body fat uh, with the idea of achieving my best conditioning uh, for Filine, uh, so the Italian finals. The problem was that of course when you're trying to uh, prolong your diet and uh, trying to do many contests uh, you also sacrifice a lot of your uh, you know muscle mass especially if you're doing it naturally as a natural bodybuilder and this is exactly my case. I remember that my very first contest this year on the 20th of May, uh, the Muscle Mania uh, North of Italy qualifier, uh, my weight was 84 kilos. Uh, in Filine, as I said before, my weight was 75. So, again, we're talking about not 
off season and uh, you know contest uh, day we're talking about participating to two contests so contest ready uh, 10 kilos difference from the first contest to to the last one uh, you know this year so definitely significant weight loss and of course not all fat uh, but uh, you know say majority was actually muscle so that was one of the mistakes and of course uh, you know the judges noticed that they saw that I participated last year in the middle heavy uh, class this year I was in the middle class and actually uh, you know almost like a lightweight class because uh, you know my weight was 75.6 and uh, you know a couple of days before uh, I was actually below 75 kilos and then uh, the other mistake was uh, again linked to this obsession for uh, you know conditioning and, and quality and uh, basically a mistake on the last week of uh, you know the preparation so rather than carb loading uh, you know two or three days before as everybody Pretty much do. Uh, I just continue to uh, carb reloading and uh, keep a very low carb diet uh, to avoid the spillover and have uh, under uh, cutaneous, uh, you know, water and and fat uh, on my legs. So I was really obsessed with uh, you know the quality and the conditioning of my legs. And uh, I started you know carb loading again only the day of the contest at five o'clock in the morning. Of course, with already a reduced water intake, the glycogen was not shuttled into the muscle, and the effect was uh, the typical effect of a lack of a proper, uh, you know, carb loading. So, a lot of, uh, uh, you know, flat muscle uh, was really deflated, and uh, no muscle pump, and it was really noticeable. And again, it was more visible the lack of, uh, you know, muscle mass or the. Uh, loss of muscle mass uh, from the for for the judges, so definitely uh, something that I learned uh, this year. Uh, when I learn from this mistake, I don't want to repeat it again in the next season. And uh, but I'm gonna share with you uh, a few uh, photos uh, from the contest so that you can also uh, you know have your uh, your comments and uh, you know uh, share with me your your feedback on that. And then uh, we're gonna see again at the end of this video. Uh, so that I can update you on my next steps and uh, the focus for uh, this off season.
Okay, so as you've seen, uh, great pictures, great memories of a very nice event. It's always a good uh, emotion, good feeling to uh, go back to Filiene where everything started, where my uh, competitive natural bodybuilding career started. And, uh, you know, now the focus is uh, uh, mainly on trying to uh, rebuild, uh, you know, the muscle on uh, my framework, uh, especially on my weakness point. So in this off-season, the, the main objective is trying to uh, you know, put some muscle on, on the frame, uh, especially on my back, uh, my chest and my shoulder, but definitely my back that I probably have to, you know, build from scratch now, uh, since I lost a lot of uh, muscle mass there. And, uh, you know, what I want to do is also continue to uh, update you guys with videos also during my off-season, because, uh, you know, I see that a lot of natural bodybuilders usually post videos and photos only when... Uh, they are under uh, preparation period uh, when they are in the perfect conditioning uh, but I'd like to show you also the off season to show you that uh, you know guys as us that we are participating and we are competitive competitive bodybuilders can also get uh, to uh, relatively high uh, percentage of body fat like the average Joe and then with the right preparation the right conditioning on the right knowledge on how to uh, achieve the contest ready uh, stage uh, you know you you can basically get rid of the excess fat and get ready for for the contest easily uh, so everybody can do it so as a way to motivate you guys uh, and make you uh, you know demonstrate you guys that everything is possible even if uh, uh, you have a higher percentage of body fat and uh, you're doing a, a kind of a highly responsible job like uh, the one that I got so this is also the purpose of this channel. So having said that, uh, I'm gonna, uh, you know, thank you again for your great support. Uh, I really appreciate all your comments or your private message, and please continue to also suggest new topics for uh, next videos. And uh, I'm gonna see you again uh, very soon on the next update. Cheers, guys.